uncover the hidden world of political campaigns in just five minutes. Join me, your host, David Washington, on Countertop Politics every Monday for exclusive campaign insights, tantalizing innuendo, and the secret sauce behind successful political campaigns. Don't miss out. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Hey, it's Monday morning, so you know this is Countertop Politics with your host, yours truly, David Washington. It was quite the weekend, very busy. Had an interview with our friend, uh, Stephanie Quinn Yu of Live Now with Fox and uh, threw some surprises out there. It's my second interview with Stephanie on that platform, and uh, we hope to have those clips for you eventually. Um, several meetings, some very good meetings, uh, monitoring some canvassing that was out there with my clients. But one of the things that uh, always comes up and continuously come up, especially with our liberal clientele, and it, but this does affect all of our clientele, and that's fundraising. And again, for the client, the candidate, their main role is twofold. One, network. Get out there, kiss the baby, shake hands on your stump speech, let people know why you are running. Second, and more importantly, because you can have a great personality and be the most popular person in the world. However, if you don't have the finances to run an effective campaign, step aside. Please, just step aside. And so fundraising is the second role of the candidate to be an effective candidate, networking and fundraising. And so I'm going to talk very briefly about fundraising and two resources that I've always go back to. Again, I've been in and out of this business of campaign management and elections and politics and all that good stuff for 35 odd years. Okay. So I think I know what I'm talking about many experiences on several different levels of politics. So when it comes to fundraising, it's something that I can do, that J&W can do. It's just that that shit's hard. <laughs> I mean, really, it, it is labor intensive for the candidate, of course, and also for the team. The fundraiser in particular is labor intensive because you have to focus on scheduling organization, and overcoming for the candidate, overcoming any type of anxiety or fears that they've had in asking for money. It's not the easiest thing. And it's something that doesn't come natural. However, it's essential to a campaign. A candidate has to step out of their comfort zone and be willing and able to ask a stranger from across the district, across the county, across the state, across the country for money to invest. And that's how we frame this fundraising, to invest in this startup company we call the campaign. When we frame it like that and you're talking to individuals, particularly those um, big donors, they get it. And even some of the smaller donors get it. They know that, you know, campaigns need to function. Every little bit counts. Every financial dollar counts. So we like to frame it as investing in a company that is working on behalf of the people. And two of the resources that I always gone to and refer to, and uh, it's pretty much the, uh, the, the center of our philosophy for fundraising and our practice for fundraising. So the first resource is a book, 74 pages, um, and it goes back to uh, about 2016, 2018. It's by Nancy Boxscore, B-O-C-S-K-O-R. I learned about Nancy Boxscore at the Leadership Institute Academy for Campaign Management. 
Yes, that Leadership Institute by Morton Blackwell, founded by Morton Blackwell. We'll get to that to that a little bit later. But uh, her book, Nancy's book, is called Go Fish, How to Catch Contributors. Mm, that's different. Go Fish, How to Catch and Keep Contributors. Very, very good book. And she just goes step by step by step on what it means and what in, in what it entails to be successful at fundraising, fundraising, developing the finance plan, political action committees and political parties. What do they mean? How can they play a part in your fundraising? Events, direct mail fundraising, telemarketing, digital fundraising, so many different things here. And granted, the book is older, you know, it's 2024 right now. However, the principles still remain the same. And then finally, Mr. Morton Blackwell, his ebook, The Famous Foolproof Fundraising Formula Through the Leadership Institute. Yes, that Leadership Institute. And I mean, he just breaks it down in six stages budgeting, identifying donors, meeting with donors, expanding your base of good prospects reprioritizing and building strong ties with your donors. Hey, I know that I am the liberal. My business partner, Joel Hogsley, is the conservative, but we are not shy, nor are we timid to tear a few pages out of the other team's playbook. This is Countertop Politics. I hope you enjoy what you just heard or what you just saw or a little bit of both. I'm David Washington. I love what I do. And I'm an expert in this. I've done my time. I've worked with so many talents, whether they're on my team, on the campaign team, or with the candidates that we work for over time. And Countertop Politics is like my my digital diary, my digital library of the things that I know make for successful campaigns. So I would love for you to comment. I would love for you to like this. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I love what I do. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Again, this is not necessarily listed as a podcast out there on the digital landscape. It's a playlist. And this is something that uh, I hope to continue again every Monday, give you that campaign insight, political innuendo, and of course, the secret sauce. That's right. Like Go Fish, the secret sauce to winning campaigns. So again, thank you so much. It's been great. I love campaigns. I love what I do. And I hope that you're learning something from what I'm sharing with you. Shout out to my brother. Great conversation with uh, with my brother the other day about a particular topic that uh, I want to get ahead of and uh, get out there on the David Washington show, particularly in regards to President Donald J. Trump and how he is going to be able to pay off all these fines, all this debt that he owes to the courts and to the people who have sued him. My brother came up with a a good idea for the Trumps. Uh, you never know. We'll see you the next time. I'm David Washington. This is Countertop Politics. Remember, every Monday, five minutes of the good stuff. Talk to you soon.